In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import invoices held in a text or Excel file into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. So to start, double click on the Z-Axis icon. Next, we're going to connect Z-Axis to the QuickBooks Online company file. So select QuickBooks Online and connect to QuickBooks. You'll be prompted to log into your QuickBooks Online company file. Select the company file that you wish to connect to. Confirm. And finally connect. So once this connection is made, unless you disconnect, Z-Axis will remain connected to your QuickBooks Online company file. So next, select the Import tab, and we're going to browse to the file that contains the invoice data that you're looking to import. So Z-Axis supports text, Excel and IIF file formats. We've got some sample formats here of, of data that we're going to use to import. Now these are pre-installed when you install Z-Axis, so you can use these to test if you already don't have data ready to import. Click Open, and Z-Axis will open the file and present the data here. So we can see within this text file we have three rows which contained of two invoices. There's a customer, the reference number, the item that we're selling, the amount and the quantity. So now we need to tell Z-Axis where these fields should be imported into QuickBooks Online. And we do that via a mapping. So I select Add New Mapping. And I select the transaction type that we wish to import. So we're going to select Invoice. And now we go through the process of mapping the fields in your import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks Online. So document number, it's going to go against reference number. We can finally map the customer reference name. The fields in yellow are the mandatory fields, the minimum you need to import to successfully create a transaction in QuickBooks Online. We'll give the map a name and click Save. So we can reuse those mappings the next time we come to import the same file with the same structure. Z-Axis also gives you the option to choose some advanced features like whether you want to use the sequential numbering in QuickBooks Online, whether you want to update the contact details of the customer and so on. We also have the ability to skip if the transaction exists already, to overwrite it, append it or just add another copy. So I'm going to select Duplicate and the final step is to click Import. Axis will go ahead and validate the data or add customers if they're missing or items if they're missing in QuickBooks Online, and then finally import those transactions directly into your QuickBooks Online company file. So we know we can now see that the import is complete and two invoices have been added. If you want to see those invoices directly in QuickBooks Online, click this View button and Access will open that page for you. So here is the data directly imported into QuickBooks Online, Invoice 1006. It also has the feature, if you like, to actually undo those two imported transactions. So if we want to delete them from QuickBooks, we want to roll back, you can click that as well. So that's very simply how you can import invoices from text files or Excel files directly into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis.